it's time for a round robin again. Let's see what I can add to this quilt. <laughs> Hi there! Welcome to a new video on the Sugary Doo channel. My name is Irene and Sugary Doo is all about happy crafty projects for quilting and crochet. And in this video I'm going to work on a round robin again. And this one is the one I get to work on this time. It's getting harder and harder to think about something to add to the round robins. So um, I'm just starting in the design process, so I'm going to take you with me all the way uh, with this one. For this new round robin, I'm starting searching on Pinterest. So I put in round robin quilt and then just see what others made to get inspired. And right away, I really like the idea of this one, where you have um, the gray area around the side and I really like the idea of an arrow kind of shape that goes around the edge so I might do something with that and also I like here they made it symmetrical so um, this the uh, left and top side of the quilt is the same as the right and bottom side of the quilt uh, but it would also be fun to do this in a asymmetrical way I also like these rectangles that might be nice to incorporate in the arrow shape. And also these one, the red and white pluses. And also the orange and pink crosses. Or what we saw here, the tiny squares in the middle over here. Um, that would also be fun, I guess, to do in the middle of the arrow. So now that I have some ideas, I can start sketching. So what I liked was the border that makes a kind of corner. Maybe not this wide. And that you have a kind of arrow shape in there. Because this is pretty dark with some uh, light details in here so this is light but the rest of it is all dark so I was thinking to make this light and then keep this dark around the arrow and then also here have a piece that stays dark so that you have a lighter one that's going around it and then maybe I can do the tiny diamonds in there or um, something with the X's that could be cool or um, or even triangles just randomly placed that could be fun as well yeah so I think I'm going with this one and then I need to decide on what I'm going to put in those arrows. So let's see how big this is already. So I'm just going to assume that the whole block is 28 inches and uh, design uh, with those measurements and I guess I'm also going to add so when I'm making the arrow shape here I'm going to add uh, the darker color that I'm using on above the point of the arrow uh, over here I'm also going to add a border around here um, and it would be nice to use this very dark color that they used in the starter block. Um, I'm not sure I have that dark of a gray, but I guess it would be nice to bring it back in the outside border again. So uh, that's what I'm going for. Now it's time to um, 
uh, get to uh, the real design so I'm going to put down those measurements and start drawing up what I'm going to quilt. Small change of plan, I decided to make uh, the border around the round robin white and the arrow dark so that makes a bigger contrast with the dark block. So I cut some strips where it will need to go around the round robin. I think this works really well because now the white border that is over here will come back over here on the outside. Um, yeah, so. I decided to put the arrows on the top and on this side um, so I can um, attach these borders around the block and then start making the arrow. So I've added the white border around the round robin and I've sewn the pluses together. So time to uh, trim these and uh, press them open and then I can see how I'm going to lay them out inside the arrow. So these ones are <coughs> about two and a half inch and the arrow is going to be three inches wide so I need to add a little strip of dark fabric on the top and the bottom of all the uh, pluses and then they can be arranged next to each other inside the arrow. And here we have the first finished plus. So I'm going to make some more of these and then it's time to assemble the arrow. All my little pluses are finished, so I'm going to place them around the round robin and then it's time to make the pointy part of the arrow and uh, I guess then I can just fill up the rest of the arrow with some darker fabric. There we go. So. Uh, here you have the pluses and now here needs to go a pointy part of the arrow and also on this side. So I'm going to make those uh, right now and then uh, just fill up these spaces with dark grey fabric. Oh and by the way, if you're interested in uh, finishing up some uh, whips, you can join the Tackle That Whip uh, on Instagram. Uh, I have a blog post open right now, so if you're watching this video on uh, Thursday or Friday or Saturday, you can still join up for February. And uh, the idea is that you pick a uh, project that you want to finish, and you sign up on my blog, and when you finish your uh, project at the end of the month, or when you reach the goal that you set for yourself, then you have a chance to win in the giveaway. It's super inspiring to see everybody's work in progress and to see all the finishes that are being made. So um, it's a lot of fun. So I would say go and check it out and uh, join for a month. So I make my pointy part. Um, one over there and one over here, which is still a bit long. 
pen I've cut some strips. They are all three and a half inch wide. Um, so they are the width of the pluses. Um, so I'm going to cut these up in little strips and then I can add them between the pluses. Almost done. Now all the fabrics for the border are pieced together, so I'm going to piece the border to the quilt. So now I've added the arrow part to the quilt. And the thing left to do is to um, Add a little white triangle in the corner over here where the arrow shape is bending and then add some tiny white strips around the outside edge. I'm so curious what the block starter will think of uh, my addition. It's getting harder and harder to think of something to add to the quilts because so many people worked on it with different styles and uh, uh, different colors, different fabrics, but it's so much fun to uh, to do, to get creative and uh, have a deadline to think of something and uh, create something for the quilt. So the white triangle is uh, on there and this will make the nice uh, rounded corner. So now all we need to add these little strips and then I'm done. And there it is, the round robin all finished. I had a lot of fun with this one, but I did find it really difficult to uh, add something. Well, difficult, mm, challenging is maybe a better word. Um, but yeah, I kind of liked how it turned out. I, uh, I hope that the vlog starter also likes uh, what I made. And I think because I left a white border around the block, um, that the next person uh, who's going to work on this can either continue with the, the darker colors or um, add something with a lighter background um, around it. So I'm very curious what the next step will be. But this was my work on it. And that also brings me to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I didn't go into all the measurements uh, too much, so I only showed you uh, the general uh, design process for this one. In a few weeks I will have another video about the next round robin that I get to work on. And then I also want to show you pictures of all the round robins that I've worked on and how they are developing and uh, how they are looking right now. So uh, in the next round robin video I will give an update on that. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope to see you next week again. Bye bye!